there we go. Al was telling me earlier, this bait for walleyes is the Rodney Dangerfield of baits. It gets no respect. And that's really true. A lot of guys don't use it all that much for walleyes. And it's a deadly bait when these fish are up shallow. It's got so many attributes for casting and cover, covering these big, giant, massive flats. If you're not fishing specific pieces of structures, these fish are up here just grazing all over the place. You need a bait that can attract them and trigger them from a long distance, and that bait does it. In the big picture, lipless crankbaits are generally associated with power fishing bass. These baits incorporate extreme sound, vibration, speed, and flash to attract and trigger strikes. Most walleye anglers use slow finesse techniques to coax finicky walleyes into biting. Walleyes, like all fish, can exhibit a wide range of feeding moods, from negative to positive. I get them on figure eights a lot. <laughs> Lipless crankbaits are extreme lures that enable anglers to comb expansive flats fast and target active fish for a multitude of different species. Lipless crankbaits come in three forms. First, one knocker, like a clack and rep, have a large single BB with a deeper sound. The most common baits, like the rip and wrap, have multiple BBs which sound like maracas. Last but not least is the silent bait with no BBs. It's important to note that the water we are fishing today is dark and dirty where these loud aggressive baits shine, but they do also have a time and place in clear water conditions. This is a warm water method. It doesn't work really good when the water gets cold, so it works uh, starting when the water starts getting, say, uh, uh, into the mid-60s and warmer, and it'll go into early fall, uh, you know, when the water starts dropping down uh, slightly after the turnover. I caught a lot of fish after the turnover when the water gets into the, say, high 50s. After that, different baits, you, you know, come into play. But boy, when these fish are on these weed flats, like we're fishing now, it's really, really something. Oh, got him, got him. I got him. See, they're there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice <laughs> one here. Let me get him. <laughs> All right, I got you, Chief. All right. Get ready to do some action. Beautiful all right there. Nice. Beautiful end to a beautiful day. Yeah. I'm fishing. Oh, you got a tank, huh? Yeah. Coming your all right. way. All right. all right. Look at that baby. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, go, oh, go, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh. Be careful. Oh, the boy man, this that fish. Look, look at how he ate that. Thing, okay, man. watch. Down Get the, the net out of his mouth. Down the hatch, look at that. huh? Ah. Right, you know, what a day. What a day, man. Look, look at that. Look at that bait. Look at it down his throat. Wow. You know, we came out, we're throwing, we're throwing two different lipless crankbaits. I will say that the, the, look at that. I'm throwing a rip and wrap. Danny's throwing a clack and wrap. He has caught way more fish than I have, but I'm getting bigger. Yeah. Ones. How oh, sweet I you got, got yours? One. <laughs> oh, he's got one too oh. now. Oh, it's a pike. A pike? You never know for a split second what you got. This is, we're going to call this one a wrap. The weather's coming in. We had a great time. We caught a bunch of big fish. And uh, I, I got to close by simply saying if you have not picked up lipless crankbaits, and started throwing them on your favorite walleye lake when these fish are in shallow water, you're missing the boat. You're missing the boat. It's one of the most overlooked big walleye baits in a warm water period that I have ever seen. Whew. Nice.